If you're a fisherman, this is the sort of dawn you dream about. Grebes and barn owls are not essential to a good day's fishing, but there's more to angling than catching fish, and such beautiful creatures symbolise the joy of being at the waterside. Some anglers claim the chalk streams of southern England provide the cream of brown trout fishing. But Bob James' specialisation is not how to catch, but how to enjoy. Chris Yates' specialisation is being late. Not that time is relevant when you're fishing. Are you thinking fish, Chris? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm thinking fish for you, kid. Good, okay. I'm sure that the fish can actually sense your presence, so that when you turn your mind off for a bit and you're not concentrating, they uh, relax and... That's why suddenly you get that chance that you're not expecting it. That's the reverse theory. I think it's you're better off to wish them here. Yes. But they can <laughs> get you. That's right where they are. The best one in the world. You'll probably make a... Oh, I hope he was ready. Wonderful. <laughs> God. That was the that was your fourth cast, yep, Kim. I know. And we've had about 400 and not had a fish. So, it's a uh... good day. Ooh, it's a big one. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Oh, we turned our minds off the fish from it there, kid. I didn't. <laughs> I'm always terrified I'm going to pull the thing right out of its mouth. Peter says, yeah. keep on pulling. Yeah, and then it won't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a sporting time for Pisley. Good hey, work. Well done. Oh, that Very was a, good, that Peter. Was a brisk bit of gillian. He never misses. Go on, Kim, let's have, let's have the captor with Look her Look at fish. that, Hugh. <laughs> Travelled almost a thousand miles and failed to catch a fish like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you do it rather effortlessly. Well done. Well done, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Bob creeps into position carefully, for the fish may be lying just downstream, where the water from a carrier causes a crease in the flow of the main river. Not surprisingly, a big lump of bread flake is the bait. Just a swim for me to settle Found the spot with the twos in it. Swinging through that weed bed there. So, we can help him get the land in there and the water he's coming around now. Yes, he's coming around. Yep, that's lovely. Yes, that's certainly a two pounder. Like 
two pounds. Here are three bottles. I'm going to believe this. For those who are wondering why every fish in the river seems determined to get caught, you need look no further than the weather. The day is dull, the river slightly coloured after rain, the wind is soft and westerly, and temperature and barometric pressure stable. And such unlikely details matter when you're fishing for really big roach. And this is yet another really big roach, at least two and a half pounds. You want to head down to the oak tree? Point. Yes, I really like the look of that yeah. spot under the oak there. That... It does have a certain allure, I must admit. But you mean you fancy fishing somewhere different? <laughs> No, I like the look of the oak tree pool oh, as well. Right. But, <laughs> but oh, oh, that's why. Yes! Oh, God, that's oh, made it. Referee. The decision's been made. You've got the oak tree pool. <laughs> <laughs> Having doctored his swim with a liberal helping of that ace barbel attractor, hemp seed, Bob once again tries trundling a lump of luncheon meat down under the oak tree. It's bouncing back around underneath that tree again. There's a slight tap there. Just melting it. Go on. Yes, go on. Yes. Good. The poor poor. A little bit more music. So Chris can hear what's going on. Yeah. It's a perfect current out there. The feel of all this. The cake's going to be on me tonight. Uh, Mike's tasting pork's not too expensive. Oh, there he is, yes. That's lovely. That's lovely. Come on. Come on. You've got enough. Go on. Let's have a look at you. Really serious looking. Whoa, get in there. Oh, 